The last kind of variation that I will go over is a combined variation. So if you understand direct and inversely and jointly, you should be fine here. We're just going to combine all the different types into one. So this is a very wordy problem. I would pause the video if you want to go ahead and read it yourself before I start doing it. Um, the first sentence, the volume V of a gas varies inversely. So right away, V varies means that I'm going to write V equals. It varies inversely as the pressure P. So when you see inversely, whatever comes after it must go in the denominator. And it's directly as the temperature T. So directly is going to go in the numerator. Inversely is going to go in the denominator. This is just how we're going to combine those different types of variations. Now, please don't forget your constant. So I'm also going to put a K in the numerator for the constant. Again, I've said it so many times already. Use whatever letter you want. I'm going to use K to go with the temperature T in the numerator. All right, so now we have our function. The next part, a certain gas has a volume of 10 liters, a temperature of 300 Kelvin, and a pressure of 1.5 atmospheres. So all of those have to go together. Do not combine it with any numbers after it because it's saying in that sentence that that gas has all of those characteristics. So that's what I'm going to plug in into each space where they go in the function. Now remember, the first thing I've been doing in all of these is finding the constant K. So plugging all of these numbers in is going to leave me with K to be solved for. So you can do this a number of different ways. You can go ahead and do 300 divided by 1.5, or what I'm going to do is multiply the 1.5 other to the, over to the other side first. It is entirely up to you what order you do it in. Um, you should get the same thing as me. So I'm going to do it on the screen now. If you want to do it yourself, go for it. So 1.5 times 10 gives me 15. That leaves me with K times 300 on the right-hand side. So to solve for K, I'm going to divide by 300. And 15 over 300 gives me 0 0.05. That is just K. That's not my final answer. Now I have my constant K. So I'm going to put that into my variation function that I found earlier. So now I could ask you anything about any particular gas and you're going to use this function that I just wrote with the 0 0.05 as K. So to actually answer the question, it says, if the gas is compressed to a volume of 7.5, and is heated to a temperature of 350, what will be the new pressure? So that means we're trying to figure out P. So plug in everything. I've got 7.5 for V. Temperature is 350. We don't know P. Now you solve. So like I've said in a previous video, you don't want to solve for a variable that's in the denominator. So the first thing I want to do is get it out of there. I'm going to do that by multiplying both sides by P. So 
So on the right hand side, I've got this 0 0.05 times 350. If you multiply those, you get 17.5. And now I'm going to divide by 7.5. Put it in your calculator. And just make sure you use units with a word problem if necessary.